Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at the Halic Tree of Roots, and I see two ways to go from here. There's towards the fog wall, which I'm sure is a boss, and then there's this way. Armor ahead. Travelers clothes, manchettes, boots. What is this? Is it like a bud or something from the Halig tree roots? It looks so different from everything else. It just looks weird, out of place. Look at the traveler stuff. It didn't look that special, but maybe there's something special about it. Light yet sturdy clothes worn by young women who set off into the world to confront their fate. Not really my thing. Not bad, though. What the heck does this lead to? Well, down there I've already been. So it has to be something up here that's new. been here. This body doesn't have any item on it, which makes me think I already got it. Because usually those bodies do have items. Yeah, I've definitely been in here. Hmm. I guess there's only one way to go then. Blood loss. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. A 
And I have never known defeat. Okay, here we go. What? That was quick. Very dodgy, not surprising. Probably worth going to Night Comet. Oh, I should try um, Moonblade. Well, that did a lot of damage. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Ah! Hmm. When they hit me, it seems to heal them. I don't know if it always does, or just when they have that, like, red effect. Oh. Jeez. Ah. Oh my god. That is a nasty burst. Ah. I need to figure out how to get away from that attack. Ooh. With all these buffs, I actually can just block it. Wait a minute. They're still getting health back from their hits, aren't they? Even if they don't do any damage. They do! Oh no! How much health do they get back from that flurry? Let's see. Oh, they get back a lot! Even blocking it doesn't work then. I mean, it saves my life, but then if they're not dying, what's the point? Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think the blocking is... Well, blocking that attack might be good, but blocking in general is actually bad because, again, the healing thing. So you really want to avoid as many hits as possible, even against your shield. Let me just see if I can parry her at all. Oh. Kinda hot, though. The sword's able to stun them, but yeah, the damage I get from that is not really worth it. Okay, come on, I want to see your second phase. At least glimpse it, but for a second. Oh no. Come on. Okay. All right, what's your second phase like? So at least I can plan for it.
Wait. God, they're cool. Oh my god. Goddess of Rot. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't last long. God, they're so cool, though. There we go. If I do two of those, it freezes them, which means they take more damage. Okay, you're getting pretty good at dodging that special attack. Pew! Okay. Ah! Alright, I lived. Hey, look, it's the Firefox logo. God, they're so cool, though. I have no health, but I have a good amount of FP. Okay, their attacks, a lot of them are... Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I want them to kill me, though. They're hot monster lady. Like, good for her.
Nice, nice, nice. Not nice. Oh, really not nice. Perfume, I want to smell good. Chanel number five. No, 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 no. Top up. Perfume, bad timing, whatever, it's fine. Perfume. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Fucking first try. Millennia's Great Rune. Oh, I wonder what that does. Probably something really, really good. people are talking about that boss was actually pretty easy it only took me like four or five hours remembrance of the rod goddess Whew. Oh, whoa. That wasn't there just a second ago. Return unalloyed gold needle. Oh, right. I totally forgot that that's kind of one of the reasons I was here. Okay, that gives us Michaela's needle and somber ancient dragon smithing stone. If I remember right, I think I know where we need to take the needle, but let's just check the description. Michaela's Needle, one of the unalloyed gold needles that Michaela crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. Capable of subduing the flame of frenzy if inherited, allowing one to cheat fate and avoid becoming Lord of Frenzied Flame. However, the needle is as yet unfinished and can only be used in the heart of the storm beyond time, said to be found in Farum Azula. Yeah, so I guess it pretty much just tells you mostly where to use it. And yeah, it allows you to cheat fate and avoid becoming Lord of Frenzied Flame. So I think that's the guaranteed ending that you'll have if you are frenzied when you finish the game. So if you want to avoid that ending and have the chance of getting others, we need to use this and undo the frenzy. Let's see what we can get from the Remembrance of the Rot Goddess. A katana or an incantation that uses faith, unfortunately. God, that'd be so cool, though. It only takes 35 faith. That's really low. Creates a giant flower that explodes with scarlet rot. Each time the scarlet flower blooms, Millennia's rot advances. It has bloomed twice already. With the third bloom, she will become a true goddess. And the katana. Blade built into Millennia's prosthetic arm. Oh yeah, it doesn't even have a handle, does it? Through consecration, it is resistant to rot. Millennia's war prosthesis symbolized her victories. Some claim to have seen wings when the weapon was raised aloft. Wings of fierce determination that have never known defeat. The specialist waterfowl dance performs a series of one-footed leaps in the manner of a waterfowl to unleash a swift yet graceful slashing combo. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. Oh, that's the attack that, that she did to us. Yeah. 
one that was really, really hard to dodge. What does it take? A lot of dex and just a little bit of strength. Not any int or even faith. Okay, so I can use this. Not just yet. Um, I'm four dex short, but that's not too far away. Causes blood loss buildup. Let's get that. And is there any new equipment? Millennia's armor, Millennia's gauntlets, and greaves. Oh, I think I want all of them. Let's get them all. We have a bunch of things to do now. I'm at the arena where we fought Placidusix, and I believe this is where we can use Michaela's needle. Yes, tame the flame of frenzy. Ah. Uh. Is that going to go away from my back after I rest, or is that just there? No, it's just there, I guess. <laughs> hmm. I guess we're still scarred, but not frenzied. Okay. Next thing I want to do is look at the armor that we got. I can't remember if I showed it on camera, but yeah, there's a full set of Melania's armor that I bought. Let's check it out. Mm. Well, the winged helm is kind of weird compared to the commoner's headband because the commoner's headband is basically not armor at all. So let's compare it to something more normal. We have the twinned greaves. Okay, it's a bit lighter. I think it's like medium weight armor. Consequently, it's not as good at most things, but it's better at immunity and better at holy and significantly lighter. How does it look? In this dress, I think it looks just as good, maybe better. It's actually more elegant. Yeah, I like them both, but definitely very happy with that. I think I'll leave that on. And there's the gauntlets, which, well, the manchets are super, super light. <clears throat> so these are much heavier. Better physical, worse magic. Better poise, robustness, and immunity. Worst fo worse focus and vitality. Mm. They're a bit on the heavy side. They're not very elegant. At least on their own. Let's see how they look with the main piece of armor, though. I'm sure this is heavier than the dress. Yeah, way heavier. Yeah, the dress has, like, no physical protection at all. <laughs> but actually really good magic protection. But yeah, this has really good physical damage negation. Not great magic. Much better poise, of course. How does that look? Okay, yeah, now the arm piece actually fits. How does it look with that, but not the arm piece? Not bad, actually. Maybe a little bit strange, kind of. It still looks fine, though, I think. It's not exactly a dress, but it is Melania's armor, and Melania is awesome. I think I'm actually going to wear the full set, even the helmet included. I want to change the pace. It's about eight units heavier, so it's quite a bit heavier, but still easily within medium load, but also pretty far away from light load. But yeah, I like it. Just popped a bunch of souls. Let's get as much dex as we can get in the hopes that I can gain. What was it? I think I needed four more points to be able to use Millennia's sword. I don't think I'll get there. One, two, three. Almost there. One more. I was looking around the capital because when we googled it sounds like it might be somewhere around here for millennias, but uh, I realized there's a Divine Tower of East Altus that I've already been to. This was already revealed. I don't even remember coming here, but um, I guess I did come here and didn't have a rune to empower because I just came back here and we can restore the power of the great rune and I think this is Moog's. Wait, switch action. Oh, there's a message. Yep, so there's Moogs. Well, let's see what Moogs does. Go 
Grants a blessing of blood to phantoms. What does that mean? Its blessing grants a blessing of blood to summoned phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Moog and Morga Morgoat are twin brothers and their great runes are naturally similar. But Moog's rune is soaked in accursed blood from his devout love for the wretched mire that he was born into far below the earth. So the way to get to Melania's Divine Tower is apparently from the Divine Bridge here. And I haven't been there, so I'm just exploring around trying to figure out what I've missed. And I have no idea if this is connected. But one thing that I definitely haven't done is gone into this huge hole. Like the world's biggest sewer grate. I'm not even entirely sure if I can survive that fall. Christ. Also, I haven't been in here. Guess I'll take some cotton. Crimson Amber Medallion plus two. Oh! Yeah, we've already been down here. We just never got this item up on this pillar. Nice. I was actually just using that for the Millennia fight. Could have used it. That gives us more health, right? Yeah. The plus two compared to the plus one gives us... 18 more health? It's actually not that good. <laughs> it's not that big of an increase. 18 health? Well, wow. okay. Well, I'm glad I looked it up on a wiki, as always, because it's super, super obscure. To get there, I need to be here. But I can't get there anymore because we did crumbling for Rumazula, and now this whole place is covered in sand. So it's actually inaccessible, and the only way to get there is by going all the way down here to the Tower of Return and using this trap chest to teleport us there. If you remember, forever ago, we were teleported there. I don't, because that was literally months ago. Right. So this is the Lost Bridge they were talking about? I don't know why I have to rediscover this grace point because we completed crumbling for Rumazula. Like, this itself I don't think changed. I don't get it. Divine Bridge. Apparently there's a teleporter somewhere. Are you going to come back to life? I think you are. Ah, oh, over here. I guess last time we were here it just wasn't alive. The teleporter, I mean. So let me get this straight. It says we need to find the, um, we need to go beyond the lost, like the great lost bridge or something like that. And so that is not anything to do with the place that is literally called the great bridge. It's actually in the place called the divine bridge. Okay. That makes no sense. Isolated Divine Tower. Oh, is this... Ah, oh, yeah, I, I figured this was probably it. Didn't know how to get here, but I saw this on the map. Really curious what Millennia's Rune does. Given that she's a super hard optional boss, I'm assuming it's going to be something very good.
Attacks recover HP after damage is taken. Maybe there's a better explanation in here. The blessing of this half-rotted rune reduces the healing power of Flask of Crimson Tears. Oh. And yet, due to the infusion of Millennia's spirit of resistance, attacks made immediately after receiving damage will partially recover HP. Ah, so it has to be like... Yeah, uh, I guess... Actually, you know what? That's actually very similar to the... Um... I forgot the name of the mechanic. Uh, I think it's called the Rally Mechanic from Bloodborne. Where if you attack shortly after being hit, you can recover your HP. It's actually quite similar to it. Millennia's daughter to Queen Merica and Radigan, and her great rune should have been the most sacred of all. I wonder how much it reduces the healing power of the Flask of Crimson Tears. And how much health we get back. This needs to be tested. I think I managed to pop enough runes to get one more level. Yes, which should give us enough to use Millennia's weapon. And it does. That looks like a very uncomfortable handle because it literally doesn't have a handle. It's quite a long blade. So that's the quick attack. Strong attack. It's a stab. And then the special. Oh. Right. Uh, let's two-hand it. No, there we go. Yeah, it is that attack. And then we should be able to do that two more times. Oops. We just keep pressing it. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't even take that much FP, really. Okay, we gotta test this and the rune out on some enemies. Okay, I only have one rune arc. So let's test this weapon out in this rune. So, it should make our heal less effective. Hmm. I guess... Hurt me? Hug me? Wait, did it reduce our... Oh no, I thought it reduced our max health, but never mind. If you look at the health bar, it shows you, like, how much health you can recover, and when you can actually still recover it. So if we take some damage... There we go. There's like a lighter part, so that can be recovered... for a couple seconds, and now I can't recover it. So like, if I attack now, it wouldn't actually recover anything. No. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, these are so weak now. <laughs> Hurt me a little bit. Yeah, I got the health back. Does it let me get all the health back? Yeah. It looks like you could recover, I think, 100% of the HP that you lost if you do it fast enough. Oh, I think there's a little, like, effect. There's like a little red effect swirling around me. Yeah, swirl, swirl. Now it's gone, so that effect also indicates when you can do it. Let me heal. I want to see how much it heals. Okay, that's like... Ooh. That's maybe like half as effective. Let's try a giant. Okay. Well, that was my only rune arc, so... I guess that's as much as I'm going to get to test it. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, I think, as far as I can tell, there is nothing left to do except the main boss.